Welcome. In this video, you will find 25 carefully selected Green Belt Six Sigma multiple choice questions designed to test your understanding and help you get exam ready. Each question comes with four answer options. We recommend you write down your answers on paper as you go through the video. At the end, we will reveal all the correct answers so you can check your performance and identify areas to improve. Let's begin. What is the primary purpose of process capability analysis? Which of the following is a requirement before calculating process capability indices? What does the safety value of greater than 1.33 generally indicate? Which statement about CPK is correct? If CP is equal to CPK, it means Which condition violates the use of CP CPK indices? What is PP used for? In capability analysis, a lower CPK than CP indicates What is the role of control charts in capability analysis? What is considered a minimum acceptable CPK in most industries? Process capability analysis assumes Which tool is used to verify process stability? Which type of control chart is used for monitoring discrete data? A process with a CP of 0.7 is likely Which of the following is true about long-term process capability? What is an appropriate use of PP and PPK over CP and CPK? Which metric compares actual spread to allowable spread? An unstable process with high CP indicates What type of data is required for attribute capability analysis? Which capability metric is most affected by non-centered processes? A process consistently meeting specs but fluctuating widely likely lacks Which of the following indicates an incapable process? Which condition must be met before interpreting CP CPK? Which tool is best for real-time monitoring of process stability? In Six Sigma, a process with a CPK of greater than or equal to 2.0 is considered a 
end of 25 questions. Take a moment to compare your responses and see how well you did. Use this opportunity to identify gaps and strengthen your understanding before the exam.